welcome back to the channel. Uh, recently I bought a canary blee who since arriving into my tank has not eaten. Um, I've tried feeding him frozen food, mysis, marine pellets, even nori. Nothing. It's been three days since he's eaten and I'm starting to get a bit concerned that I may lose him if he doesn't eat very soon. After doing some research online I heard that garlic oil or, ex or garlic extract is good for increasing appetite in fish. It's about 11pm right now in Sydney and my local fish store is fast asleep. Let's whip up our own batch of garlic extract. Let's do this. Alright, welcome to my kitchen. We're going to try and get this done before my wife figures out what I'm doing in here. You're going to need a sharp knife, a couple of garlic bulbs, and of course a chopping board. I'll show you why. Alright guys, this is not a cooking channel. I'm not even going to pretend like I'm a pro uh, when it comes to peeling garlic, but what I do know is if you Put it far, but if you put the knife flat above it and then just give it a whack, it will release the skin and just peel off by itself, as demonstrated here. Okay, uh, once once you've peeled the garlic, I basically just give it a f just a rough chop, just to make it easy for the blender that I use, which isn't that great. Okay, once you've got all the garlic chopped up, ready to go, uh, you're just going to need uh, one cup of RO water, which you're going to be putting in the blender with the garlic. Once the garlic is pretty much blended into a fine juice, um, you want to run it through either a sieve, colander, strainer, whatever you call it in your country. Uh, but essentially you just want to make sure all the juice comes through and you want to remove all the hard sediments um, and the big chunks of garlic that may not have been blended down. Once you remove all the hard sediments from the sieve, you're going to be left with just the garlic extract uh, and this is what we're going to be using. Uh, to add to our either frozen food or flakes and we're going to experiment and see if this actually works. Here you can see I'm actually using mysa shrimp, uh, frozen mysa shrimp, which I'll be adding uh, drips of our garlic extract which we made. I'm going to blend it in and leave it in for probably maybe a couple minutes, let it soak in and then I'll feed it to the fish. Once the extract is ready to go, all you have to do is bottle it up and use it whenever you want. Okay, as you can see now it's time to hide the evidence and clean up the kitchen before my wife finds out what I've done to it. Hopefully there's no frying pans to the head, um, and I'll come out of this alive. A 
that's the end of the video guys thank you very much for your time and support uh, really appreciate everyone's liking and subscribing and commenting on the channel um, hope you enjoyed cooking with RT and I'll catch you in the next video